here we are in uh, Colorado and we're looking at some Jurassic deposits of the Morrison Formation. And what I'd like for you to focus on are these green mudstones. Okay, these mudstones are right here. You can see that there's a little bit of maybe red in them from oxidation. Okay, so that's our, those are fluvial mudstones. And right on top of those, you see that there's this very sharp contact. All right, you can see that right here, super sharp. And right on top of the sharp contact, you see these pebble class, size clasts, and they're normally grading up, which means largest grains at the base, smallest grains towards the top. That indicate waning flow conditions, waning flow meaning the loss flow velocity is slowly decreasing over time. Okay, so we have this at the base, and then as you move up, you can start seeing very faint cross stratification in the succession. Okay, show you a better view of the cross stratification here when we walk around just a little bit, just around the corner. The camera is going to shake because I'm, going to, I'm moving. And this is uneven terrain, typical Colorado, Utah vegetation, lots of cactus. So here we are, close up of those pebble-sized clasts, right at the base of the succession. So remember, we had the sharp contact, normal grading, and now you can see the cross ratification fairly clearly. All right. Within the cross ratification, you can see that there's distinct sets. So starting from the base, almost right there, those sharp contacts, that's one set. And there's another set, another one, and we move on. The interpretation for the succession is that this is a multi-story fluvial channel, okay? And what you're looking at, the gravels here represent the bed load sheet. Now this is the material that is moving right along the base of the river, okay? And right above the bed load sheet, those cross beds that you see, those are individual unit bars. So these are the bars that are contained within the channel. They are not point bars, but bars that are contained within the channel. Okay. Now the cool thing is that sharp contact and the normally graded lag, that pebble lag at the base, you can actually see that in core and you can also see those in borehole image logs okay the one thing i do want to point out i mean and you can't really see it from here okay the, but one the one thing i would like to point out is besides the gravel lag at the base everything here is, would have a pretty blocky signature on a gamma ray okay so you're not going to get that textbook christmas tree looking finding upwards succession that you see in gamma ray profiles. But you will see this in borehole image logs. So in gamma ray, this thing would appear to be pretty blocky. Okay, sharp contact at the base, sharp contact on top. 